Meet the Takahe, a bird you've likely never encountered before. It's a real-life prehistoric wonder. And here's the fascinating part. These birds were thought to be extinct for a very long time. Imagine, when cars were just starting to become a common sight on the streets of London, the Takahe was already declared extinct. But hold on to your hats, because we've got some exciting news to share. Thanks to the extraordinary efforts of conservationists, Takahe birds have been given a second chance at life in the wild. Today, we're going to dive deep into the story of this magnificent bird, once believed to be gone forever, but now making a triumphant return to the natural world. Once upon a time, the magnificent Takahe roamed freely across New Zealand's South Island. These unique birds sport stout red legs and boast a sturdy red beak that means business. Their feathers are a mesmerizing palette of colors. A dark royal blue graces their head, neck, and breast, transitioning into a captivating peacock blue on their shoulders. In the past, the Maori people gathered the feathers of these birds to create beautiful cloaks. The Takahe birds do have wings, but these are reserved for special occasions. They can't fly, but unfurl their wings for grand displays during courtship or when they want to put on a show of aggression. When it comes to family members, Takahe are all about quality over quantity. They only reproduce once a year, raising a modest brood of one to two chicks. These family units are fiercely territorial, and they require a good deal of space to call their own. But the story of the Takahe took a tragic turn due to a host of challenges, including hunting, the invasion of introduced predators, habitat destruction, and fierce competition for food. The main reason for their extinction was the mammalian predators introduced by humans. New Zealand's native bird species evolved in an environment where there were no land mammals as predators. This absence of predators meant that birds didn't need to fly to escape threats leading to flightlessness in some species, like the Takahe. But when humans introduced mammalian predators, it was game over for the Takahe birds. Imagine you're a flightless bird. There's not much you can do when a crafty stoat decides that you're on the menu for dinner. By the end of the 19th century, there were no Takahe birds left in New Zealand, and the bird was declared extinct. However, this was a misconception. You see, for nearly half a century, these remarkable birds were believed to be extinct, disappearing from our world. It was a momentous event when in 1948, the Takahe made an astonishing comeback. An expedition team embarked on a daring quest and stumbled upon the last surviving wild population of Takahe. They discovered these elusive birds thriving high in the tussock grasslands of the remote Murchurison Mountains. Suddenly, there was a little pack of birds alive in the wild. And this rediscovery marked the inception of New Zealand's longest-running endangered species program. For over 70 years, a tireless commitment to ensure the Takahe's enduring presence has been at the forefront of conservation efforts. One of the key strategies employed by conservationists is to locate Takahe eggs in the wild and take them into care centers to protect them from thieves like stoats, ferrets, and rats. It's a critical step in giving these majestic birds a fighting chance. Additionally, trapping invasive predators has become an incredibly important contribution to the Takahe's steady growth in population. Today, Takahe are classified as nationally vulnerable, with a population of just over 400 birds. And 25 birds have been released into the wild in 2023. This is hoped to be followed by 10 more in the early months of 2024. Hopefully, the Takahe will survive and thrive in the future. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. See you next time.